Well, Matt, uh, FA Cup weekend this weekend. We'll look at the Farnborough game in a moment, but uh, it's been a week since the, the game at Stockport. I know we said after the game that it was just one to sort of file away, forget about and, and get on with it. Has that been the case this week? Yeah, I've gone already, Tony. Yeah, just uh, drawing a line under, under it, as you said. A uh, disappointing day all round. Uh, certainly affected with the, the decision by the referee um, in the opening minutes. Um, two two key decisions, really. One to tackle on on Will Randall, which I was um, not happy about, and then and then uh, certainly not happy with with um, in, in not even thinking about and giving a, a straight red to him after three minutes, which. You know, they're, they're, I think they're the favourites to win the league at the start of the season. Uh, the budget, the money that's spent, the players, the squad that they've got, the size of the club um, and the form that they're in, it was going to be a tough afternoon anyway, let alone uh, losing Omar after three minutes. So, yeah, a disappointing afternoon all round. Uh, but, yeah, not a lot we can do about it now and, and we move on. Has it been frustrating thinking, if you've thought about it at any stage, has it been frustrating thinking about what might have happened if it had stayed at 11-11? Yeah, it is because you do all your homework and your preparation. You're looking forward to the game, big crowd. Um, yeah, and you you want to you pick your wits and and see how you get on, and that's instantly taken away from you. So, uh, yeah, we, we don't know what uh, what would have maybe lay ahead that afternoon. And we ought to just say we we did appeal against the red card, but it was turned down. But uh, presumably, you're still of the same opinion as you were this, uh, after the game last Saturday that it was a harsh decision. At, at, yeah. At, at best. Yeah, I, I do really think it was a harsh decision. I don't think it was a red card. Um, but when you go to appeal, it's got to be sort of a glaring, obvious mistake from the referee to try and get it overturned. We we tried, um, but we didn't feel, uh, well, well, they didn't feel that it was worthy enough of a, too much of a mistake to overturn, which is which is really disappointing. You certainly can't take other decisions or uh, incidents certainly within the game to to influence your appeal. It's just on that in, uh, just on that moment. Um, because, uh, as I said, I thought the tackle after the first 15 seconds was was ad, as bad, if not worse. Well, enough, enough of the looking back. Looking forward, exciting weekend this weekend. First round of the FA Cup. Um, always a always a big weekend and a, a home draw, which you must have been pleased about when it when it came out. But it's still going to be be a difficult game. Farmer in good form at the moment. Yeah, definitely. Um, as you'd expect, any any no matter who you're playing in the first round of the FA Cup, it's it's not going to be easy. Uh, certainly with Farnborough on a great run, six wins and, and a draw in the last seven um, after after gaining a promotion last year. So they'll be a, full of confidence, uh, an, an excellent FA Cup run so far. Uh, first 15 goals, time. I think, they've scored so far this, in it this season. Yeah. yeah, first time since the club got reformed that they're in the first round. I'm sure they'll be bringing a, a fair few supporters as well. So it's all set up for, for a good FA Cup tie and uh, two, two good sides and, and hopefully a good game and, and we come out on top. A lot, at this stage of the, at this stage of the competition, a lot of emphasis goes on the non-league sides with the football league sides, but but it's often overlooked how how important it is for the, the sides in leagues one and league two as well, because just two games in theory, two games away from a game against a Premier League side, so it's it's equally obviously equally important for the sides in league one and league two. Yeah, exactly. The, the, the prize money, let alone what the carrot could be in in, the, in two games' time. So uh, no, so it's a, a massive competition, no matter what division and what league you're in. Um, for, for many different reasons and, and certainly for us uh, it's one we want to progress through um, and, and hopefully get past the second round and, and uh, yeah this, this club's steeped in, in history in the FA Cup and there's had so many memorable runs and games and, and victories and I'd like to put my own little stamp on it as well and say so after a couple after a couple of years it's, it's the one one competition where it's sort of slightly slightly eluded us so far since since you've joined us um, we won't we won't mention the first the first season but um, you know, obviously a Big incentive to try and get through, get through and, and get to the third round and 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 sort of get get that big Premier League club in the in the third round. Yes, yeah, it's, um, it's a competition we haven't had a, really a run in. It's my fourth fourth go at it, if you like. Uh, first year, yeah, as you say, a, a difficult um, defeat to Billericay after in, in a replay after being so dominant in the first game, but only being one goal up and, and the goalkeeper scoring, which is a day I'll never forget against us. Which was due that due to, you know around that bad run uh, when I first when I first was manager. Uh, the second season, a, a tough draw against Bromley uh, at home, um, local derby, and a, a really good strong national league side. And um, yeah, it could have gone either way. And we we came on the other end of a one 0 defeat. We beat Hazen getting in the way, which was a tough game for us last year. Uh, and then and then I get, I get a tough draw away to Bristol Rovers when we we're a bit light on numbers. That day as well, so yes, yeah, it's not been a, a great three years in the FA Cup for us. 
Um, but no, hopefully we can get a home win tomorrow, um, set us up into the second round and, and as I say, get a little run going in the competition, earn some valuable prize money and, and see where it takes us. Obviously, with Omar's appeals failing, he begins a three-match suspension tomorrow. Um, chance for somebody to come in and, and stake a claim up, up front alongside Donovan. Yeah, it's probably the, the, the one area where we haven't had to touch wood. Uh, too many injuries this season is, is up there. We, we've had the Donovan suspension for three games, which I felt affected us. And now we've got Omar out for three games. So but it, it does give um, the others a real opportunity to try and stake a claim and, and, uh, and get that shot. And we were pleased to get Craig Eastman and Louis John back in the side um, last week. Any other news on the injury front coming into the, coming into the game tomorrow? Um, no, not overly. If you're going through it, Jack Rose is fully fit now. Um, you know, just going through my, my positions there. John Barden's doing really well and recovering at home. He's got another specialist appointment coming soon. Um, so, you know, just keeping everyone updated with, with John's, and John's in good spirits and, and doing well. Um, good, he's really coming on well. Um, and he's really stepping up his rehab now. He's out of the brace and, and there's lots of promising signs there. Um, Aaron Pierre um, is, um, yeah, no, I just had a little bit of a setback and, and we're just still monitoring this bad injury he picked up after minutes after coming on. A really unfortunate one. So we'll just see how he is. And he's seeing a specialist this week, uh, ne next week coming up. Uh, Matt Ridley, um, unfortunately, he's picked up an ankle injury and has had an operation today. So he's been recalled from Chesham. And I feel he's going to be out for a little while now. Um, so we have to see how he goes over the next couple of months uh, and hopefully get him fit sooner rather than later. Um, and then then going into midfield, Harry uh, and Ellie are, are doing really well and, and stepping up their rehab. And they're, they're both um, not far away from joining in with with the team training. So that, that's two positive news. So um, that's where we are with all the injuries. And, and then obviously you had Omar suspension in there and, and Adam Lover being cup tied. And you know, now you say Jack Ro Jack Rose's fit, that gives you the position now of having three three goalkeepers in the, in the squad and uh, decisions to make, I guess, over the next few weeks. Yeah, and uh, I think we're going to have both on the bench tomorrow because we've got um, nine subs we're allowed uh, tomorrow in the FA Cup. We can't fill all nine. We haven't got we haven't got the bodies available for that. So um, even then, we're putting two goalies on. So it was, why wouldn't you? Just just the, the, the rarity that something might happen to one, if not two goalkeepers. So there'll be two two goalkeepers on the bench tomorrow, and then uh, and now J uh, Jack's fit, um, and, and we'll be putting Lewis under pressure for the number one and shirt, letting them two fight it out. Um, well, I will be looking to try and get Brad out and get that run of games that I've been looking for him to do all season, but it hasn't materialised until now. So I'll be looking for a loan move for for Brad pretty soon. Just one you mentioned in that run through there, Matt Ridley. Um, disappointing for him because he'd, by all accounts, he'd done really well at Chesham and, and um, would, have, would have come back to us at the end of the loan, uh, sort of in, in good in good shape. Yeah, yeah, that's, it's disappointing. We, you know, we signed him as one for uh, potential and seeing how he, he got on and felt the loan move was, was the right thing for him to go and play a run of games uh, and, and uh, a good fit with Chesham. We've got a good relationship with them. Uh, Killian doing so well with them last year. Uh, and then, yeah, and then Matt doing so well with them this year and, and several clean sheets, good results from them. They're, they're up at the top end of the table. Um, so it was, it was disappointing for all parties for, for for Matt to get injured and, and then for him to have the operation today. And important for the, in the FA Cup tomorrow, Farnborough, yeah, as, the, as the underdog, bringing a, a, a large large travelling contingent from Hampshire. So wanting the Sutton supporters to get out, get out in numbers as well at, at the VBS tomorrow and uh, make it a, a really good atmosphere, a good FA Cup atmosphere. Yeah, exactly. The first round of the FA Cup, we, we've lost one in five ourselves, so we're not, not on a bad run. Um, you know, we're really looking to kick on in the competition, a localish game, if you like, against the club that um, Sutton have crossed paths with many times over the years. Um, so, yeah, just encouraging as many Sutton supporters to come down there and support us and, uh, and help us get that victory. Well, yeah, we'll, we'll hoping it'll be a big crowd and hope, hope it goes well and um, we'll catch you up after catch up with you after the game. Thanks for talking to us, Matt. Cheers. Brilliant. Cheers, Tom.